Oh, my leg! I'm taking you to the hospital. <gasps> Would you shut up already? <laughs> Be gentle. Gentle, my leg. Oh, oh, get me in the car. Get me in the car. <laughs> All right, so which one of you did it? Did what? Uh, don't pretend like you don't know. Uh, how do you even know he was pushed? Uh, Grandpa wouldn't just fall down the stairs. Old people fall all the time. This is not your typical old person. This is Grandpa we're talking about. He's like a cat. He always lands on his feet. I think this was sabotage. You know, you're right, Anthony. I think it was sabotage. So why don't you tell us? How'd you do it? You think I did this? Yeah, I mean, after all, you did have it out for Grandpa. No, I didn't. <sighs> oh, really? Is that why you said you were going to kill him? I never said that! Let's have a gander, shall we? There's nothing there! Seth, it's right there! Oh, I, I see it. It all started this morning. Uh, hey, Grandpa, can you go grab the tablecloth? Oh, uh, what's it for again? <sighs> I've told you a hundred times, you old sandbag! Today is our family reunion, and you better be going this time! Oh. I'm sorry I keep forgetting. I'm just feeling a little under the weather today. <laughs> Shut your mouth and just get the tablecloth, you stupid old man! I'll do my best. Handsome. <laughs> oh. oh my! Wait, hold on! I never said any of those things! Your story's all wrong! Anthony, you should calm down. Then I think you need to stay out of this. Whoa! Did you just say you were gonna snap his neck? What? No, I didn't say that! Anthony, you have a lot of anger inside your very tiny body. Anyway, if we can get back to my story. <gasps> you grotesque, useless, excuse of an old man! I asked for one favor, and what do you do? Oh, I fell on the floor! Well, guess what? You mean nothing to me! If you don't get up and help me celebrate my family reunion, then I am going to kill you! <laughs> And that's why you pushed him down the stairs. <laughs> that story couldn't be more false. Oh yeah? Then you tell us what happened. Okay, I'll tell you. It was Seth who pushed him down the stairs. I thought you told me to stay out of it. Go on, Anthony, enlighten us. <sighs> it all started when you guys walked into my house. Um, Grandpa, excuse me. If you don't mind, could you pretty please go get the tablecloth? Oh, uh, what's it for again? Hey, Anthony. We're here to check on our incredibly handsome and well-height-adjusted friend. Anthony, why can't I be as handsome as you? Uh. <gasps> oh, Ryan! I'm glad you're here! Hey, Grandpa. Oh, get out of your sketch! Listen, I need you to help me learn how to throw a punch. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Grandpa, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but you seem a little bit busy, and you're kind of supposed to be helping me set up for the family reunion. <laughs> all right, so all you got to do is just pick up your fist, tighten it, and now just put your shoulder in. Oh, like this? <gasps> Dearest Seth, are you okay? Hey, Anthony, do you have any chocolate milk? Listen up, old man, because I'm only going to say this once. The next time you walk up those stairs, I'm going to throw you right back down. And that's when Seth pushed him down the stairs. Wait, didn't you say he got punched in the right eye? Oh, you bet I did. Well, he's holding the ice pack on his left. Uh, oh, no, my eye's fine. It's just I, I like the way ice feels against my skin. So you don't deny it? Oh, I deny it. In fact, it was Ryan who did it. Oh, God. How long are we gonna sit in this room? We've been in here for like six hours. Ryan, it's been six minutes. Well, there's no point in listening to Seth's story because it obviously wasn't me. Well, we'll find out after we hear Seth's story. Thank you, Anthony. It started two years ago when I went to return something to Walmart. The customer service only offered me a full refund. So I politely declined their offer and left the store. A week later, I returned and saw that same employee. An anger raged through me. Before I knew it, I- uh, Seth. What does this have to do with anything? I was getting to it! Anyways, two years later. Uh, hey, Grandpa, can you go grab the tablecloth? Back in a jiff. How does that prove anything? I wasn't even in the story. Yeah, and? Then how is it my fault? Did you hear my story? Why does it even matter who did it? They said he might live. Because my dad told me that if I don't find out who it is, I'll never be invited on his late night talk show. Oh my God, Larry, Larry. You know, I forgot to tell you about what happened yesterday. 
You're not gonna believe what Grandpa did this time. He dropped my wallet in the toilet and gave me a fishing pole to fish it out. You know, I can't wait for him to die. Hey, did you pick up the mustard? Oh my God, I can't believe it. I can. I gotta go confront him about this. So was it really Larry? No, but if I didn't come up with something, we were gonna be stuck in here forever. Why'd you do it? Did what? Put Grandpa in the hospital. I didn't do that. Do you know how much the medical bill is gonna be for that? Now I have to pay for it. Oh, huh. well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I don't know, but get out of here. You ruined my sandwich. <sighs> Dude, sick leg, bro, how'd it happen? <laughs> Well, you see, my ugly grandson is throwing a family reunion and I didn't want to go, so I threw myself down the stairs and broke my leg. Gnarly! Ha, don't worry, we're gonna get you fixed up real easy. It's just gonna have to flip over so I can check that prostate. What? No, I'm here for my leg. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You see, every patient that comes has to get their prostate checked. Oh, no, I, you know what? I think I'm fine! Nah, don't worry, it'll be real easy. <gasps> nice and quick. <gasps> Hey guys, just a few things. I'm going to be giving away five Culture 35 t-shirts in honor of hitting 500,000 subscribers. So if you want to win one, just stay tuned. I'm going over the rules in just one second. But first, I've noticed that a bunch of you guys have been asking me about the water bottle that's been featured in a bunch of our videos. This is the coldest water bottle. It's insulated and it keeps your water cold for up to 36 hours. If you want to try and win one, you can go to the link in the description down below, or you can use code CULTURE at checkout for 10% off if you decide to buy one. Checking them out also helps support the channel, so thank you. Also, some of you may remember that we did a live stream over on this channel not too long ago, and we took some of the best moments from the live stream and put them together in a highlight reel. So if you want to relive the live stream or if you missed it entirely, you can go over to our second channel, Culture Bloopers. The link will be at the top box on screen or the link in the description down below to check that out. And now before I give away the t-shirts, I just want to say thank you guys so much for getting us to 500,000 subscribers. I know we say this all the time, but we seriously couldn't have done it without you. 500,000 is not something that I ever thought would be possible. I thought we would just plateau at like 100,000. But because of your support, we've been growing so much lately and we really owe it all to you. And now to thank you guys, I'm going to give away five Culture 35 t-shirts. The rules are super simple. If you want to Win, all you have to do is follow us at culture35 on Instagram and then send us a message telling us you want to be entered into the contest. On Friday, August 7th, five of you guys will be picked completely at random to be the winners of the contest. I will DM the five winners with the next steps from there. Also, if you're one of the winners from the last t-shirt giveaway we did and you haven't received your shirt yet, I think that Teespring, the website that we use for our t-shirts, was a little bit backed up with all the craziness going in the world right now, but I promise you will receive them. It says they've been shipped. Thank you guys again so much for getting us to 500,000. It means the world to us. Here's to the next 500,000. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment letting us know what you thought, and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you're notified when we post new videos, and that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you again very soon with a brand new video. Bye, guys.